The main argument for mass deployment of autonomous vehicles is the number of lives that could be saved. But how do you put a number on that? When the outcome is affected by so many variables. Some say that AVs must be nearly perfect before we deploy, because imperfect technology would cost lives. Others point out that human drivers are far from perfect, that over 30,000 people a year already die on America's roads, almost all due to human error. So we should get AVs on the road as soon as they drive better than we do. So which plan is safer? To find out, we have to project future road fatalities if AVs were never introduced. Next, we estimate how quickly developers can improve AVs after they've been introduced and how quickly conventional vehicles get replaced. Now we can estimate the lives saved under two scenarios nearly perfect AVs, and ones that are just better than the average driver. If nearly perfect AVs prevent 29,000 of 30,000 annual deaths, it's a no-brainer to put them on the road. But when does that happen? How long have you waited for them to be perfected? And how many people have died in the meantime? It turns out that introducing AVs when they are less than perfect, when they're merely better than the average human driver, may actually save more lives in the long run because we're introducing them sooner. We're not waiting. As a result, they get safer, faster. Once they're on the road, developers would have more data to improve them than they do with their small test fleets. The technology improves more rapidly, more people replace their old cars sooner, and still more lives can be saved. In fact, under every combination of future adoption and performance conditions we examined, introducing AVs when they're less than perfect led to fewer cumulative road fatalities over a 30-year period. In some cases, saving hundreds of thousands of lives. While postponing the introduction of AVs until they're nearly perfect might seem safer in the short term, it could ultimately be the more dangerous choice. But are we really ready to let go of the steering wheel? We have to ask ourselves, what puts us at greater risk? Imperfect machines or imperfect human beings? And if we don't want the perfect to be the enemy of the good, we must consider the critical factor of time.